now it's time to create our first generic function i'm going to create the function the name of the function logger and return i'm going to use the t this t will specify to typescript compiler this is the generic function and it can accept any type you can provide any argument let's say i'm going to provide the one argument the type should be t you can use any data type here you can provide the number type or you can provide the string type but i'm going to use the t type and it will return the t whatever type you will specify here it will return the exact type let's say if i will provide the string type you must specify the string from this function so I'm going to return the T. That is it. No, I don't need to return T. Actually, I need to return the thing. The type of this thing variable is T. Now it's time to call the logger function or you can get the message inside the message variable. The type is string. I'm going to call the logger and return. This is another way. You can specify the data type inside the angle brackets. I'm telling to TypeScript compiler. Hey, TypeScript compiler, I'm going to use the string data type. Let me invoke the function. You can provide the message here. Hello, world. Now you can log the message here. npm run dev and you will see the message hello world but the common convention is typescript documentation says you don't need to mention the string it can also work with without the string angle brackets I use this one now you will see the same message cool the you can do the exact st same stuff by using another data type let's say message two this time i'm going to use the number type logger and return i'm going to provide the two here you can see the message now you will see the two Similarly, you can provide the Boolean data type here. 